Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so that a standard critic doesn't have to. And neither should you! Recently, we have had some passings. Very known passings. And for today's editorial, I'm going to use this time to pay tribute to three very known figures in the world. Jose Fernandez, Arnold Palmer, and of course, Doug Walker's mom. So with that, cue boys to men. Let's start with Doug Walker's mom since she was the first to pass of the three. What can I say that nobody else has said yet? She was an inspiration to us all. Say it! She influenced so many people and she was an absolute sensation to be around if you knew her. I obviously don't, but if I were to know her, I know she would give me the same appreciation that she did for everyone else that she knew. Especially her beloved family, the Walkers. Doug, Rob, and Barney are going through a tough time, and it's a crying shame that they have to put up with this. Because it was so unexpected, even though she was... She was to the point where, you know, almost getting there but still it's too soon to see her go like this and so unexpectedly as well she will be praying up or she will be flying up above and she will last forever and her impact will be reached not only up above but down here as well and it's a shame that this had to happen for Doug but I do give him a medal of courage for continuing on with his videos even though he's lost his mother, because he knows this is the one thing that'll keep him going. It's like when Brett Favre lost his dad. What kept him going? Football. So of course he's got to shoot the videos. He doesn't have to, but he still does it because he knows that'll make everybody happy. And that is a true medal of courage in my opinion. Now let's get to the other two. Both of them happened on Sunday, as you probably know. Jose Fernandez and Gary Player both passed away. One had a future ahead of him, the other lived a full life. Both died and nobody expected it to happen so soon. What Jose Fernandez stood for was not just the Marlins, but the entire state of Florida. He represented a state. He represented a city, a cultural. He made Miami what it is. He made them... A wonderful sight to witness. Whenever he was pitching, he amazed. He had a passion. He was so enthused about the game. And it's a shame that he had to go like this. Because he had so much potential ahead of him. And the Marlins had so much going for them. So it's a crying shame that he had to go in the way that he did. But he will be remembered up above. And when I heard the news, I was of deep shock. Because Jose Fernandez was going to be the future of Major League Baseball, in my opinion. He was the face of the Marlins. If not for Jim Carlos Stan, of course. Stan, obviously, was the face, too. But he was the future for pitchers. He was amazing. And it's a shame that he had to go like this. And Arnold Palmer. Palmer was a lasting icon. He set the bar for other great golfers like Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson and a Roy McIlroy and a Jordan Speed. He was phenomenal and his rivalry with Jack Nicklaus compares few to none when it comes to golf. His wonderful drink is definitely remembered by and if I were to have an Arnold Palmer with me I would totally toast to him on that. But it's a shame that he had to go in the way that he did too, although his time just about came and went. It's still a shock to see all of them go. And they're all going to be looking from up above. They'll look down below and see what a lasting impact each of those three have made to everybody in the world. So with that, I tip my cap to all three of them. Doug Walker's mom, Jose Fernandez, and Arnold Palmer. You three were an inspiration and a dedication that inspired so many people. And your lasting impact will leave a legacy for each of you three. I'm the Commander Xander, and you three will always be remembered.